Now, before I read that uh, determination, I want to say this. The greatness of a nation lies in its fidelity to its constitution and a strict adherence to the rule of law. And above all, the fear of God. Having said that, I would now like to read the determination of the court. The hearing of this petition was concluded on Tuesday, 29th, August 2017, well after 9 p.m. The judges thereafter retreated to de deliberate on the various issues for determination as crafted by the court. The issues were, number one, whether the 2017 presidential election was conducted in accordance with the principles laid down in the Constitution under the law relating to elections. Number two, whether there were irregularities and the illegalities committed in the conduct of the 2017 presidential election. Number three, if there were irregularities and the illegalities, what was their impact, if any, on the integrity of the election? Number four, what consequential orders, declarations, and reliefs should the court grant even? Having considered the having carefully considered the above issues, the following is the majority decision of the court with two judges, the Honorable Justice Ojuang and the Honorable Justice Sindungu dissenting. As to whether the 2017 presidential election was conducted in accordance with the principles laid down in the Constitution and the law relating to elections, upon considering inter alia Articles 10, 38, 81, and 86 of the Constitution, as well as Sections 39, 1C, 44, and 44A, and 83 of the Elections Act, the decision of the Court is that the first respondent failed neglected or refused to conduct the presidential election in a manner consistent with the dictates of the Constitution and inter alia the election act, chapter 7 of the laws of Kenya. Number two, as to whether there were irregularities and illegalities committed in the conduct of the 2017 presidential elections, the court was satisfied that the first respondent committed irregularities and illegalities inter alia in the transmission of results, particulars, and the, the substance of which will be given in the detailed and recent judgment of the court. The court, however, found no evidence of misconduct on the, on the part of the third respondent. Number four, number three, sorry, as to whether the irregularities and the, illeg uh, and the irregularities affected the integrity of the election, the court was satisfied that they did and thereby, thereby banning 
the integrity of the entire presidential election. Before I proceed, I would now uh, like to allow uh, my two colleagues who are dissenting to <clears throat> read their views before we read the final orders of the court. And in this regard, I will request the Honorable Justice Njoki to read. <clears throat> 